Hi there folks, it's Puma here. So today we are going to be where I'm going to be painting a little gouache portrait of Sandra Bland. Alright, so what you see me using here is my absolute favorite case for all of my gouaches. Uh, I've tried several different containers in this one by Bianyo. I think I'm saying that right. I'll leave the link in the description box below, but it has kept my gouache paints wet and usable days after days of being closed, and it can really easily dry up or flush out or quickly rinse out whatever is in there and use a paper towel to dry it out and then get the next set of colors that I want to use and put it in the container and it's good to go. And what I'm doing right now is choosing some colors for what I'm going to make Sandra's skin tone with and I really, really love combining burnt sienna with some different blues and using yellow ochre for a few highlights here and there. So that's what you'll see me pull out of my paint container here. I also grabbed Prussian blue. I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to use that deep and dark of a blue, but just in case. Sandra Bland was, of course, a um, another victim, another black woman, victim to police abuse of power, and um, uh, so I spent some time painting um, her and thinking about her and her family and all of the people who loved her dearly and the opportunities that she didn't get a chance to um, experience because of the society in which we live and how people of color are treated. So I just sprayed everything down with a little bit of water from a spritzer bottle just to make sure everything stays wet and a good consistency for the painting. Now I'm going to go in and use just burnt sienna to lay down the foundation of her face and go from there. Sandra was a graduate of Prairie View A&M University and had a degree in agriculture. She was one of five sisters, a member of Sigma Gamma Rho sorority, a summer counselor for three years, played in marching band, and volunteered for a senior citizens advocacy group. I think so few people talk about or paint people of color, and so sometimes there's not a lot of material readily available to know exactly how to get the shades and the skin tones we're going for. But I took a couple Skillshare classes that I really liked that helped me practice skin tones all across the spectrum, and I'm only continuing to practice that. And I have to apologize here. <laughs> I was trying a different setting with my camera and so there are actually unfortunately quite a lot of shots of just my hair instead of the actual painting so I tried to make it a little less of just my head and so if you see big chunks missing that's kind of what happened. Sandra Bland, 28 years old, was driving into Texas to start a new job and was tailed closely by the police officer who, a quote, accelerated fast on the rear of her vehicle. In order to give him the right of way, she changed lanes. She did so without signaling, and she was pulled over, aka a pretextual stop. Crime. Changing lanes without signaling, asking why she was being arrested, oh, and being black. I'm really not good with, nor have I done a lot of practice with faces, so it's something that I'm working on. Death? 
ruled by suicide. Found hanging in her jail cell three days after being pulled over for not signaling when changing lanes. Sentence. Sandra lost her life. The world lost a smart and passionate woman. Something that's really important to me as I'm doing these pieces is that all of these folks, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, Brianna Taylor, Stefan Clark, Elijah McLean, Ahmad Arbery, George Floyd, Botham Jean, Emmett Till, Jordan Davis, Tatiana Jefferson. They all had things that made them happy and that they laughed about. Dreams that they wanted to see happen or make happen. And Sandra was no exception. So that's something I think about as I'm trying to capture their faces. and all of the things that they could have done had they been given the chance. So the photo that I'm using as a reference is the one of Sandra kind of looking to the camera a little bit off of her shoulder. She's wearing this kind of funky cheetah print top and I thought it was just a great way to honor her personality because it takes a certain someone to be able to wear a shirt like that. If you're familiar with my channel then you know that I'm a really big fan of contrasting colors and colors that go together and so I took out the background of the original reference photo and used blue to contrast with her shirt and one of my absolute favorite things to have on blue is white so I looked up some of Sandra's funeral flowers and there were dozens and dozens of photos of white white lilies. I don't know if that was a flower she particularly liked or if there's another reason that that was something I saw a lot, but I thought that it would go really well against this blue background. Pretextual stop. The police stop a motor vehicle on a minor infringement in order to investigate other suspected criminal activity. This is known as a pretextual stop. Wikipedia. As usual, when I get to the background of my paintings, I decide back and forth as to whether or not I want more of a watercolor translucent look or a much more opaque look, and I have been on an opaque streak, so you'll see me go over this a couple of times to get it dark enough. I went ahead and filled in a couple of extra little white flowers and did some details on the lilies. And it seemed like what I was going for. Hope you enjoy this gouache with me video.